An important part of any wedding is arranging for a photographer to take engagement photos. I consider myself a decent photographer, so when I got engaged, I wanted to take my own engagement photos. Since I couldn't actually take the photos myself, I asked my sister if she would take the pictures, provided that I picked the locations, framed the shots, chose the camera settings, and touched up the photos myself. The pictures turned out great. So great, in fact, that when we tried to print them, we got a call from the photo lab asking for the copyright release form from the photographer we hired. I explained that it was my camera and that I organized the shots, but that technically my sister took the photos. He insisted on a copyright release form. Since I didn't have time to get one for my sister, who didn't have one anyway, I ended up printing the photos elsewhere. While I agree with copyright laws that exist to protect photographers, I wondered how I was supposed to learn about those laws in the first place. Especially now the professional cameras are becoming less expensive, it's more important to inform consumers about copyright law. There's nothing on your camera that says, warning, if you get good at photography, you're going to have to act like a professional photographer. But maybe there should be. I think the information about photography copyright laws should be more widely publicized so that fewer people unknowingly break those laws and that they don't have to deal with the same problems that I ran into.